Hi everyone, my name is Abisha, and today I'll be sharing a recipe organization app slideshow. So we're going to be talking about three different apps today, and um, we will be doing a live demonstrations toward the end of the first app we'll be talking about. And if you guys have any other questions about the other apps, our volunteers can answer those in our little breakout rooms or at the end. All right, so what are recipe organizing apps? Recipe organizing and storing apps are like a virtual cookbook that you can keep on your persons at all times. They can help you find new recipes, input your favorite recipes, and make them all. You can even save handwritten recipes without having to type them out. Some are free and others you will have to pay a small time fee. We'll be covering um, one that is free and two that also have a smaller fee. The first one we'll be starting with is Recipe Keeper. What is Recipe Keeper? Recipe Keeper is an application that helps you record, keep track of your recipes and find new ones. How do you use Recipe Keeper? So first you start by downloading the application on any device, and then you can upload your existing recipes by typing them out or you can scan them by taking a picture on your phone. And you can edit each recipe by adding the prep time, the cook time, the serving size, and a picture. It can be your own picture or you can add one from the internet. And then you can organize your recipes by adding them into a category that you can design however you like. You can put them in breakfast, lunch, dinner, even sort them by your grandkids' favorite foods and make them their own little section. So why is Recipe Keeper the better option? Recipe Keeper is a better option for all the recipe keeping apps because it gives you a lot of the free features without having to pay for a membership. A membership would be $10.99 a month and that would allow you to keep Recipe Keeper on more than one device. So you can have it on your phone, um, that you can bring to the store. You can have it on your iPad that you use in the kitchen or on your laptop. So some features on Recipe Keeper. So they let you plan your meals ahead of time so you can organize it for the whole week or for the whole month. You can also adjust the serving size and it will change in your shopping list and on your recipe. So if your recipe serves for two people, you can go in and adjust it for say 12 people if you were hosting a dinner party and it would change your recipe and show you um, the amount of ingredients you need to make it for 12 people and you can always add your recipe into your shopping list so it would also change it in there to show you how many, how many more things you need and you can always change it back whenever you just go in and edit it and it doesn't change the serving size on your recipe forever it's always adjustable so like I said, you can make a shopping list for your groceries. So when you add one meal uh, into your grocery list, it'll automatically add all those ingredients into the list. So as you can see in the little picture I have um, on the left, it's showing all the ingredients needed for a couple recipes that were added into this grocery list. And they're organized by each section. So when you're each sec in each section of the grocery store, it's easier to find. They can go pick up the sugar and the flour in one section and then go to the next section to pick up your eggs and your butter and your cheese. And you can also print out your shopping list and the meal plans that you made off the app. You can import recipes from the website uh, on the internet or from books that you just like to keep recipes off of. Um, you can also scan the pictures from the books or if you have a website, you can just copy the link and add it and it will type it up for you. You can also connect Recipe Keeper to an Amazon Alexa as it can help you be a, it can help be a kitchen helper and add recipes while you're cooking or you can ask for help hands-free. You can share your recipes on social media, such as Facebook or by email. You can send your uh, recipes directly, or you can just link it to your account and your friends can join you on the app and look at your recipes and how you've organized them. You can edit Recipe Keeper um, with the layout and the color scheme to make it easier for you. You can change all the colors. You can move around how your page looks to make it easier for you if you want to add 
uh, less words or less categories for food. Some more features for Recipe Keeper is there is a timer in the app, so you can set it to help um, with alarms while you're baking or to kind of uh, let you know when you need to leave to go to the store, to go pick up your groceries, and you can set multiple timers at a time. So if you're baking more than one thing at once, it, you won't be limited to just one timer. So that was Recipe Keeper, and here's our second application, which is Paprika Recipe Manager. What is Paprika Recipe Manager? So this app is a built-in web browser to find recipes for all skill levels. So when you tap on a recipe you like on the internet, you can save it with a simple tap and it'll go right to your web browser. If you install Paprika onto multiple devices, if you save a recipe on your laptop, it will also sync to your phone and your tablet so you don't have to keep adding them onto each device separately. You can also edit your recipes that you've downloaded and use them while you're cooking by crossing off things as you go like a list. You can highlight where you're at. You can also add pictures and add extra text that you need to kind of help guide you. Your phone screen won't dim when you have uh, Paprika open, so you won't have to worry about the timer going off and your phone just shutting off in the middle of cooking. Um, and it gives you all the tools to help you also plan your meals, create the shopping lists, start the timer. So how you can access Paprika is you can download it on the Google Play Store um, for free. You can download it for $4.99 on the App Store for iOS devices, so an Apple iPhone or an Apple um, iPad. On Windows, you have a free trial, but then you'll have to pay $20. And on a MacBook, you would have to pay $30. And the next one is Big Oven. Big Oven um, lets you create a free account when searching and saving recipes. You can search up to a specific meal by typing into the bar what you're craving. Things such as noodles or just soup, really general topics, and it'll help you find over 350,000 available recipes. You can use the recipe scanner to take pictures of your family recipes and import them onto the app. And features. You can follow your friends and your family and other cooks on the app to see what they're making and get a cooking inspiration. Big Oven also helps you create meals out of the leftover things in your fridge and coordinate with the shopping lists or your other family members meal plans. So you can add in what you have in your fridge and just kind of check them off and Big Oven will help you kind of create a meal with what you have left over and also by following your friends and seeing their meal plans you can kind of help you create an idea or kind of go off of their meal plans as well. How to access Big Oven. This app is free for Android, also through Google Play Store and iOS through the App Store. You can also access the website online and we have a link right here if anybody needs us to add that through the chat or we can put it in the email you guys will be receiving today. Other recipe apps we didn't talk about today, but we can, you can also try um, our Yumly, All Recipes, Dinner, Spinner, Chef Tab, My Cookbook, Anylist, and there's so many more throughout iOS, um, Google Play Store, and on many other browsers on the internet. So now we'll be doing a live demonstration of Recipe Keeper. All right, so right now I'm sharing with you Recipe Keeper. So I'm going to start um, with, this is the homepage. So right when you open the app, this is the first thing you are going to see. Um, I have not added any recipes, so we're going off the default. So this is what you guys would start with if you downloaded the app. So as you can see on our home screen, up at the top, it just has a little plus sign where you would add your recipes. As you can see, I just tapped on that uh, plus sign right up here in the corner. And it's giving me the options to add a new recipe, which um, you can just type that in. 
Um, you can import a recipe from a website. So it would give you the option to add in a link or um, if you guys already copy and paste it from a website, it'll um, add the website's name into it. Um, you can scan the recipe from photo. So if you tap on that, it would open up to photo and you just scan whatever recipe is sitting right in front of you. And the same thing underneath would be from a PDF. So that would be from a file you guys have in your phone that you've already downloaded. Then up here, I'm just gonna tap on the search and you can find recipes. So just typed in the letter B and it shows me all the recipes I have. Um, blueberry cheesecake, chocolate chip cookie. And you can always change your search by, if you want to search it by how you've saved all your recipes under, saved it by what you've rated all your recipes under, or just by what you searched up. All right, so right underneath, it just says that I have six recipes saved on uh, my account. So under each category, you can see that we have just one thing under breakfast. We have pancakes. And as you can see, it has my serving size right here at the bottom. It has my prep time at the bottom, which is five minutes. Then it has my cook time, which is 15 minutes. And if I tap right on the top, right underneath pancakes, um, it gives you all these little subcategories that you can tap on. Right now, we were just looking at overview to look at the recipe. You can tap on ingredients and it'll have a list of all my ingredients. And then right next to ingredients, you have directions. So that tells you how to cook your meal. Then we have notes that you can add in to customize your recipe or whatever you add to help guide you. Next to it is nutrition. You can add this in yourself or if it's from the website, usually it'll kind of have this at the bottom for you. So it'll automatically add into the recipe. Then we have photo, you can add in your photo, one that you took or was taken from the website or the internet, so that's just right there. And you can also link recipes that are very similar. So this is pancakes, underneath you can add blueberry pancakes, strawberry pancakes, chocolate chip pancakes, whatever, it's very similar. So just going back to overview, right. And up in the corner over here, right next to pancakes, I'm just gonna tap on share recipe. And this gives you the option to share a link or share it to your Facebook and your Twitter, with other family members and other users of the app, just by um, connecting your Facebook and Twitter to the app, also your email, so that you could share it a lot easier. Back to the home menu, um, you're just looking at all your recipes under the categories. And then right next to courses, right under all recipes, you can look at all your categories, show you all your recipes, and then you can go to favorites. And I haven't favorited anything, but if I just go to a recipe and all the way at the bottom, there's little star. And if you tap on that little star, it'll add your recipe to your favorites. So you can go over to favorites and pancakes will be there. So if there's a specific recipe that you use all the time, really enjoy making, you can add that to your favorites and it will be right there. So no need to search through all your recipes. And if there's also a recipe you've been making a lot recently, it'll be in the recent category. And since we've looked at pancakes, that's in my recents. All right, and going right next to home is your shopping list. So I have not added anything new to my shopping list, but if I go over to my desserts. If I wanna make a blueberry cheesecake, I can add my ingredients to the shopping list. So if you already have something in your home, such as butter, you can unselect the items because they already come pre-selected for you. And then say, add selected items, which is at the bottom of your screen. And that'll automatically add all the ingredients to make a blueberry cheesecake to my shopping list. So what I did there was I went over to my home screen and I picked which recipe I wanted to add to my shopping list, tapped on my recipe, and then at the bottom left hand corner, you'll see a few check marks and some lines, which is the little icon for a shopping list. You go over there and that's where I, at the bottom right hand, uh, corner, I added selected items to my shopping list. 
And now there are nine items in my shop list. And like I said before, um, Recipe Keeper lets you print out your shopping list. So at the bottom, there's the option to print out your shopping list or share it by email. Right next to your shopping list at the bottom right hand corner is the meal planner. So right now it lays out the week for me. So I can add in meals for um, today, Friday, Saturday, or I can skip over to the next weekend. In the bottom right hand corner, also next to meal planner, we're gonna go over to settings. And like I said, recipe keeper is super customizable. So underneath the um, second tab under appearance, you can go over there and you can just change your color scheme to however you'd like. So we can make it pink. And now when you go back over, everything will be pink. All right, so that was my lab demonstration of Recipe Keeper.